Hello, everyone. My name is Matt Murray, and I am the U.S. Senior Official for the Asia-Pacific Economic Forum, or APEC, and I am honored to be able to address you today. I regret that I am not able to join you all in person today, but would like to congratulate Taiwan for reconvening this important forum in person after a few years of virtual gatherings. At the U.S. Department of State, we know that Taiwan is a vibrant democracy and a force for good in the world. This year's Yushan Forum theme of revitalizing, reorienting, and reconnecting aligns with our vision for a free and open Indo-Pacific that is connected, prosperous, resilient, and secure. And we are ready to work together to build a collective capacity for a new age. As part of our enduring commitment to the Indo-Pacific region and broad-based economic growth, the United States will serve as APEC host in 2023. Since 1991, when Taiwan joined APEC as Chinese Taipei, our two economies have worked closely together to advance a range of issues from the digital economy to women's economic empowerment. From broader supply chain shocks to struggling health systems to food insecurity to climate change, we expect a range of discussions and outcomes in our host year focused on building resilience across various sectors of APEC economies. Through our APEC 2023 host year, we will seek to work with our APEC partners to advance an innovative and practical economic policy agenda that benefits workers, businesses, and families in the United States and the region. I would also like to highlight the Global Cooperation and Training Framework, GCTF, which serves as a platform for Taiwan to share its expertise with partners around the world. The United States, Taiwan, Japan, and Australia jointly administer the GCTF. And Taiwan has world-class experts in a wide variety of fields, including public health, law enforcement, disaster relief, energy cooperation, women's empowerment, digital economy, cybersecurity, media literacy, and good governance. Since its inception in 2015 through the American Institute in Taiwan, and the Taipei Economic and Cultural Representative Office in the United States, the GCTF has provided training to more than 3,000 participants in dozens of workshops, ranging from building media literacy to empowering women entrepreneurs. The GCTF allows practitioners from, from around the world to learn what Taiwan has to offer and to strengthen connections between experts in different countries as they tackle 21st century transnational problems. Thank you for inviting me today, and best wishes for a successful forum. Xie xie da jia.